Yeah, he's come out really well, you know, good and sound and free moving. So he certainly looks like he's took the race in his stride and you know, it was a great day, great to see him win at Group 1 level again. And uh, hopefully it's just the start of what he can do this year. Do you think there could be more to come? Certainly, you know, he, he was a convincing winner, wasn't he, at Newbury? And, um, you know, arguably some of the best mileage in the older horse division around uh, lined up in that race. Thought he was uh, a winner on merit. So you have to be hopeful that he can... Um, win again and uh, hopefully again. Certainly with the solo sideline for the, for the time being, the Queen Anne looks right for the taking. Well, yes, I mean, we don't know about Solo, do we? But I think it's, it's reading like it's unlikely he's going to line up at Ascot. Hopefully, um, Bellardo will be there fit and healthy, and if he is, he'll be in there a good shout, I think. And what's the news on Postponed? He's very well. Been happy with his progress since he returned from Dubai. Um, the plan is to run him in the Coronation Cup at Epsom and um, he's well on schedule for that. Would he stick to a mile and a half this season or would you be tempted to drop him back to 10 furlongs? Well, you know, I think Coronation Cup and um, the King George of a big mile and a half races in the summer that we'll, we'll um, aim him towards. It's uh, possible that he could try 10 furlongs um, either in the Eclipse or either in the Jumont International but um, you know we'll see about that we'll go to Epsom first and see how we got on there and uh, the rest of the year will unfold as it does.